is a price of $314,159 worth one pie coin? And is this a fair price for African pioneers? This is the question causing quite a stir in the Pi Network community worldwide. Welcome to the controversy surrounding the Pi Network, a project that's been stirring up quite a debate across continents. At the heart of this dispute are the African pioneers who stand accused of wanting the global community value, or GCV, to be set at an eye-watering $314,159 for one Pi coin. Now, you might ask, What's all the fuss about? Well, it's a bit like hitting the jackpot, isn't it? Imagine becoming financially independent overnight, without the need to sweat it out. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But this is exactly where the criticism begins. Critics argue that while many countries might be willing to accept this price, why should African pioneers stand to gain so much? Especially when, according to these critics, they have little to offer in return. The argument goes that super-rich nations like China and the United States, and even some in Asia and Europe, have robust industries and therefore have something substantial to bring to the table. Before we dive into the content, please show us some love by giving this video a thumbs up. Your like signals to the YouTube algorithm how important this video is, helping us reach more pioneers like you. Don't forget to drop a comment with Pi to the Moon to join the conversation. If you're new to our channel, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on our latest videos. I warmly welcome you to the Fortune TV Show YouTube channel. Africa, on the other hand, is seen as wanting to profit from the Pi Network without having much to contribute. But let's not forget the other side of the coin. Africa, despite its challenges, has a significant number of pioneers. They argue that without their participation, the project wouldn't be as successful. After all, Africa is rich in raw materials used worldwide. So if Africa were to fully embrace the Pi Network, what would that mean for the world economy? But is this criticism fair? And what are the implications for global economies? As we delve deeper into this controversy, we'll explore these questions and more in an attempt to unravel the complexities of the Pi Network and its potential impact on the world. So, Buckle up for a ride into the heart of the crypto world's latest controversy. In order to understand this controversy, we must first take a look at the economic landscape. Let's start with the big players. Countries like China and America, along with several Asian and European nations, have significant economic strength. They are the powerhouses of the global economy, with industries sprawling across sectors like technology, manufacturing, and finance. These countries have a strong bargaining chip, their wealth and industrial might. They have something substantial to put on the table, so to speak. Moving from east to west, north to south, we see an economic contrast as we reach the African continent. Unlike the aforementioned countries, Africa is often perceived as having less to offer in the global economic game. The argument goes that Africa, despite its vast resources and potential, doesn't have the same level of industrialization or wealth as these other nations. This perspective suggests that Africa's primary interest in the Pi Network is to profit from it, rather than to contribute to it. But let's delve a bit deeper. Africa, while not being as industrialized, is rich in raw materials and human capital. It's a continent that's been a source of valuable resources for centuries, from precious metals to rare earth elements, Africa has an abundance that many nations lack. And let's not forget the people. Africa's burgeoning youth population is tech-savvy, innovative, and hungry for opportunities. Could these resources and this potential be what Africa brings to the table in the Pi Network? Could the continent's eagerness to engage with this new form of currency be a sign of Africa's readiness to step up and play a more significant role in the global economic landscape? As we unpack these questions, we must also consider the broader implications. If Africa were to fully embrace the Pi Network, what would this mean for the world economy? How would this impact the balance of economic power? But is this a fair assessment of Africa's contribution? This is the question we need to ponder as we navigate through the multifaceted world of cryptocurrency and the global economy. Africa's role in the Pi Network project 
is a critical part of this controversy. The continent of Africa is a vast expanse of untapped potential and raw resources. The argument from African pioneers is that they form a significant portion of the Pi Network community. This claim is not baseless. Africa is a hub of youthful energy and enthusiasm, with a rapidly growing interest in the world of digital currencies. The pioneers from Africa argue that without their participation, the project would lack the diversity and global reach necessary for success. But the argument doesn't stop there. Africa is rich, not in skyscrapers or industries, but in something much more fundamental, raw materials. From precious metals like gold and diamond to vital resources like oil and gas, Africa is a treasure trove of materials that drive the global economy. This wealth, they claim, is their stake in the Pi Network project. Now let's imagine a scenario where Africa, with its wealth of raw materials and its significant number of pioneers, fully embraces the Pi Network. If every African nation were to accept Pi as a form of currency, the impact on the world economy would be substantial. It could potentially change the dynamics of global trade and commerce, challenging the dominance of traditional currencies. However, this scenario also raises a critical question. Does Africa's wealth in raw materials justify a higher price for the Pi coin? The answer to this question is not straightforward. On one hand, the value of a digital currency is often tied to the economic strength and potential of its community. On the other hand, the price of a digital currency should ideally reflect its utility and adoption, not merely the wealth of its community. So the controversy continues. The African pioneers see their contribution and potential as a justifiable reason for a higher Pi coin price. Others in the global community may see this as an unfair advantage. The debate is complex and the stakes are high. So, does Africa's raw material wealth justify a higher Pi coin price? The answer to this question may well determine the future of the Pi network and its place in the global economy. The controversy boils down to a debate about fairness and value. On one side, you have those who support the proposed coin price, arguing that the African pioneers deserve to reap the benefits of their early adoption of the Pi network. Their argument hinges on the belief that these pioneers have played a significant role in the network's growth and success, and thus, they should be rewarded accordingly. On the other side, critics question the fairness of such a high coin price, especially given the economic disparities between Africa and other regions. They argue that it's not equitable for African pioneers to gain such substantial financial benefit without having contributed significant resources or infrastructure to the network's development. But let's step back for a moment and consider the broader context. In the world of cryptocurrency, value is a complex and multifaceted concept. It's not just about the monetary value of a coin, but also its potential to transform economies and societies. It's about the vision and the promise of a decentralized financial system that empowers individuals, irrespective of their geographical location or socioeconomic status. In this light, the potential value of Pi coin in Africa could be immense. The continent is home to many unbanked and underbanked populations who could greatly benefit from a decentralized financial system. Moreover, the adoption of P-Network could spur innovation and entrepreneurship, creating new opportunities and avenues for economic growth. However, the question remains, does this potential justify the proposed coin price? It's a tough question, and there are no easy answers. The value of a cryptocurrency is ultimately determined by the market based on supply and demand. In the case of PiCoin, it's the global community of pioneers who will determine its value. The debate is complex, with valid arguments on both sides. At the end of the day, it's about finding a balance between rewarding the pioneers for their efforts and ensuring the fairness and sustainability of the Pi network for all its users. And that, my friends, is a conversation worth having. The $314,159 Pi coin price controversy raises important questions about fairness and value in the crypto world. In the complex and fast-paced realm of cryptocurrency, the Pi Network has stirred up a hornet's nest. The debate around the potential price of the Pi coin and the role of African pioneers within this network 
has opened up a myriad of viewpoints and discussions. On one hand, we have African pioneers who are advocating for a high value of the Pi coin, arguing that their role in the network's growth and Africa's rich raw material resources justify such a price. They believe that the success of the network is contingent upon their involvement and that they should be fairly compensated for their contribution. On the other side of the coin, there are critics who question the fairness of this high value, arguing that the African pioneers are seeking to gain financial independence without significant input or risk. They contend that more industrious countries like China and America, who have more to offer in terms of economic power and industrial strength, should be the ones dictating the value of the Pi coin. But the crux of the matter is not just about who has the right to determine the value of the Pi coin. It's about understanding the implications this controversy holds for the future of the Pi network and the world of cryptocurrency at large. Will the Pi network be able to sustain itself if it bows to the pressure of a few? Or will it stand firm and insist on a more balanced approach to value determination? And more importantly, what precedent will this set for other cryptocurrencies? These are questions that don't have clear-cut answers, but they are certainly worth pondering upon. And as we move forward in this digital age, it's important to remember that the beauty of the crypto world lies in its democratic nature. Everyone has a voice and every voice matters. So, as we wrap up this discussion, we encourage you to form your own opinions based on the information provided. Engage in conversations, ask questions, and never stop learning. As the crypto world continues to evolve, debates like this will continue to shape its future. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on the world of cryptocurrency.